Hello everyone. We are finally in our new apartment. Um, wow. We have been waiting for so long. I'm pretty sure in my August TBR I was like, August 1st is our move-in date. We're very excited. It is, what day is it? It is August 18th. 10.30 in the morning, I should say. I don't even know why I'm up. And we just moved in yesterday. We have been living in boxes for more than two weeks. <sighs> but it doesn't matter. We are here now. Sorry, I'm being like horribly backlit. There we go. You're on oatmeal right now. <laughs> Anyways, um, the reason why it took so long for us to get in here is because the floors needed to be replaced, the walls needed to be painted because the living room was green and we aren't having that. We aren't uh, Hulk people in this house. <laughs> I like my white, bright, open, clean, and I needed a white. <laughs> Especially for filming purposes. Did you really want to see green behind me? No. Oh yeah, and I'm not talking about like a pretty forest green. Um, it was lime green, like highlighter green. It was so bad. Is there an example? Maybe I can find an example for you. Oh, I found a spot. Right there. Right there, this is Nemesis. This is our welcome mat, by the way. I will show you guys what I'm currently reading and you're going to be so hype and excited that I finally started this. It's funny though, because the book that I thought I was going to be reading um, on August 1st or like the first week of August, um, I already finished, and I finished it at my old house, which was The Undertaking of Heart and Mercy. Um, you'll see that review from me very soon, but let me just show you something really quick. Boom. This is what I've started. Are you guys proud of me? I'm 118 pages in, and this is the tiniest uh, dent I've ever seen in all of the world for 100 pages. Ridiculous. But I am loving it. It's honestly on pace to be maybe the best book I've read this year. Uh, I can't believe it's taken me this long to um, read it. I'm really happy it survived the move. It was the one book I had sitting out forever and I didn't even put it in a box uh, when we moved. I just like put it on my lap as we drove. <laughs> I had like all the really important stuff sitting on my lap, like my laptop, my PS5, my current read like the, the the important things you know that i didn't want to get wrecked during the drive oh yeah the bookshelves are gonna go like right behind me and we might be getting them tonight i hope i'm so sad for my books being just locked in a freaking cage in these boxes oh i guess i should show you the floor um you will get a better view from this corner right here which is behind the couch darren's desk is going to go here and my bookshelves will go along this wall or they will go upstairs we haven't quite decided yet but i think it would just be so cool to sit at darren's um desk with his high-tech equipment which he's approved of me to use good guy and have my bookshelves in the background like i can sit in his gamer chair i will look legit we gotta do it plenty of outlets which is such a plus. I swear this apartment has so many outlets on every single wall. It's been great. Anyways, I am so happy to have you guys along on this journey with me. Um, I am definitely going to be alone a little bit more often because content creating is actually going to turn into like a part-time job for me, which is like a dream come true. So um, you guys are going to be getting a lot of content from me from now on, I think. Just because of the location, the space, um, it's opened up a lot of opportunities for me. Now we are going to be bringing in a kitten, hopefully this weekend. The campground that we worked at, there was a stray cat who had kittens, and we are taking one of them, and we already named her. Her name is Soba, and she is so cute. I'll post a picture right here. So freaking adorable. Having more pets will, uh, fulfill my soul as an animal lover. <laughs> and that's content. You guys love cats, right? We all love cats. Cat footage is always the best content. You don't even need me anymore. So yeah, expect more vlogs from me because this will probably be like a diary for me and I have you guys to talk to. Anyways, we have a lot to do today. Um, Darren's not here, so I am just like, let me just show you. Just boxes everywhere. The kitchen is a disaster. We need to figure out like what, where to put anything. Oh my gosh. And look at this. Okay. First off, I'm sorry. The fridge is very loud right now, but do you want to see the monstrosity that is the Bomar Nutrition Shrine and G Fuel? This is insane. We got the pre-workout. We got the greens, the sharp cookies and cream protein, but that's not all. Oh, and the G Fuel. 
Lots of G Fuel. Darren and I both love G Fuel. We're caffeine addicts. Also, I don't drink coffee, so this is the only energy that I can get. I still need to make my concoction of this. I have this every single day. And then we have the big boys. These tubs are like as big as me. So we have hazelnut coffee, birthday cake, vanilla bean, mint chocolate chip. Look at this. Look at this thing. It's like carrying like a baby. It's as big as my head. It's so big. I do have a uh, code with Bomar Nutrition. This isn't sponsored. I just love Bomar so, so much. It's not a coupon code either. It's just a code you can use at checkout to support me. It's Holly K, and um, I get a commission from your purchase. But if you ever need a good protein, especially after a good workout, which by the way, I need to get back to my workout regimen, birthday cake. Don't sleep on it. My rapid mixer is almost dead. It needs new batteries. Come on, you can do it. I believe. I know it looks really gross, but trust me, I freaking cannot like go about my day without having this. I have the berry greens and my favorite sharp so far that I've tried is strawberry pineapple. It's good for improved clarity, improves mental focus, enhanced concentration, helps support brain function. A great supplement to add to your life. Okay. I'm going to sit down, relax, drink my greens and sharp. I'm going underneath the stairs right now. I'm going to put on probably a stream. I don't really watch TV. I watch Twitch streams, Dan's Gaming, Captain Sparkles. I feel like that's the most millennial thing I've ever heard. And then I'm going to get some reading done. Um, I think I can get a really good chunk done out of Theft of Swords. I really want us to pass page 200 today, um, if not more. Oh, if you haven't read Theft of Swords, or maybe you read it but you didn't listen to um, the graphic audio edition of the audiobook, not like the original one that was published by the uh, publisher, but the more, um, the smaller team graphic audio. Are they a smaller team? I don't know. The book has almost 30 narrators, so maybe not. But I highly, highly recommend following along um, to that audiobook. It is fantastic. There are constant sound effects, like when people walk across the floor, when they shuffle papers, there's wind, um, sword fighting sounds, there's background music for like all the different scenes and they fit perfectly. There's extra dialogue and you would think with nearly 30 narrators there would be like a bad one of the bunch, but every single one is like the best narrator I've ever heard. So literally each character, even side characters, even characters you only meet like one time, all have a um, their own narrator. It is literally like a movie in your head. But yeah, I will keep you updated. Oh my gosh, I just I just realized something and my mom's gonna be so disappointed in me. This is my mom's care package, a box of blankets. I think it's supposed to be 80 today, so I will not be using these, but, oh, come on. We have this number, she's cute. We have this blocky brown one, very soft. Yes, these are minky blankets. I am not a blanket enthusiast, but I believe these are all the rage these days. And then we have this rainbow one. Oh, this is pretty. As I said, it is very hot outside and um, air conditioning can only do so much. So these will definitely just become house decor for now. But once winter comes, I will be wrapped in these like a burrito. So I only read for like 30 minutes, but um, the chaos that is the kitchen is really bothering me. So I might go and organize that. Anyways, I love Hadrian and Royce so, so much. They are like cinnamon roll daddies. I could read about them all day. We are starting to meet some other characters who are joining the group and they each have their own unique personalities, their own problems. And um, yes, it is kind of like the generic trope of these two characters are traveling and meeting other characters and then they're joining um, them on the quest. But the way they are joining the group like, it, it feels so much more meaningful than a lot of fantasies that I've read, where the main characters visit a tavern and suddenly someone wants to join them, even though, like, they have no meaning to. The main characters are like, hey, you want to join us? And they're like, okay, sure. I have no reason to. I'm going to anyways. It's not like this in this book. I can totally see why this is a cult classic, and I might just binge read this entire universe. That sounds like a great idea. Anyways, you want to go organize the kitchen with me? Does that sound fun? Okay, let's go. Darren has given me full permission to just put things in places I think go best. And I was like, are you sure about that? Like, are you sure you want to give me like full 
power on decor you know like that kind of stuff like where the hell are we gonna put all this <laughs> and honestly the kitchen is not very big but we're gonna do this together so i found another box <laughs> of g fuel darren's madrinas apple pie flavor okay more bomar Ooh, biscoff <laughs> Darren's mom actually got us a new dishware set, which is really cool. I'm excited to open it to see uh, what it looks like. It looks purple on the image. Oh, I can't get it out. Weird. These are so weird looking, but I love them. They're like ceramic. They're black, red inside. Pretty. They need washed first. Never mind. I am not washing them. We don't have dish soap. I get to skip dishes. Now we have one more box. Oh my god, it's so heavy. Large plate set. I'm surrounded by glass and as a clumsy person, this does not work. Oh my god, these are huge. The camera doesn't do it justice how, with how big this is. <sighs> Alright, here's the new dinner set. Large plates, normal sized plates, bowls, mugs. I love it. Hello everyone, I'm sorry for the quick transition change, but Darren and I are going into town to finally get my bookshelves. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, I probably won't build them tonight, maybe tomorrow, maybe Saturday, but um, it will be my next video, like a organization type thing. I'm sure you guys will enjoy that, but yeah. <gasps> so we just got back home and that was such a bust. Um, they don't have my, um, the bookshelves that I want in stock. So um, we're going to try again tomorrow and go somewhere else. So I hate to leave you guys on like a huge cliffhanger. Plot twist, um, it's the next day and my mom came in clutch, traveled out of her way to get these for me. Um, so we have two bookshelves. It's all they had in stock. Thank goodness though. But I'm still leaving you on a cliffhanger and we'll build these in my next video. Um, okay, back to the past, Holly. My next video will be me organizing my books. So if you want to see that and join me on this new apartment journey, you can go ahead and click subscribe. I'd love to have you here. And also comment down below if uh, you enjoyed this video. I have no idea exactly what I filmed until I edit it. It might be so boring and so weird. I know it's not my normal type of content, but it is a, like, a big change in my life. And um, just let me know if you want to see more of this. Clearly a lot of organizing still needs to be done. Darren and I are just going to make some cookies, which sounds so good. We're going to watch a movie, relax, and until we meet again, happy reading.